Hey guys, right, I'm going to show you a very quick video on these little stackable mounts that I made for my hard drives. So I'm just going to undo, unscrew one, and then put one on. So let's go with one that shows everything, for example. So first of all, I'm going to unscrew it, then screw it back and show you the process of them and how they work, basically. So these have a little bit of spacing between each drive so we don't make contact with each other. And if we have a measure, let's check. It's around it's around four millimeters that there's a gap of between each drive. So one of the sides unscrewed. And you see even uh, even one side is unscrewed but it still holds in place. And each one is held by one screw so you see here let me just take the other side off and then I'll show you okay so I'm not gonna take both sides off I don't need to so this is the only thing that's really needed for this thing this is the whole design basically uh, and you can see there's three mounting points and these are what's it called 6x32 I think that's uh, what the screws are called. These are generic hard drive screws. And they're very, very short. But this plastic is quite thin as well, but it holds everything in place very nicely. And there's holes here for M3 nuts, square nuts. And they slide in very nicely. And you shouldn't need to adjust them or anything, but in, if your printer's not dialed in, correctly you might need to use a soldering iron but there's plenty of room here for it to be inserted by hand so that shouldn't be a problem but yeah, if you do have a problem you can use a soldering iron but you shouldn't <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna keep that one in because I want to show you an example of uh, different spacings so let's show you how to attach them so it would be like that okay so the side with the square nuts is the side where there isn't any connectors so let me just screw one in tighten it screw the other side and that's good and just check the other side that is pretty tight and that is the orientation basically so this aligns with that this screws in, this screws in so yeah, the spacing here for where the connectors are and this side now the files that you would get that are released um, they do not need bushings I extended this area by around six millimeters but I just haven't reprinted them because these are, these are fine for the way I want them and uh, so yeah this area is slightly bit extended and the reason I needed bushings and why I changed the files to extend it by around six millimeters is so that the fan doesn't make any contact with the drives. You don't, I don't want any of that. So anyway, where were we? So let's insert these. Okay, both sides are inserted. Okay. And just like that. And you just repeat the process basically for any amount of drives that you want to stack obviously I don't recommend crazy amounts like like 30 or something uh, 10 I think would be acceptable 20 maybe but would you really want to risk it I don't know I mean the plastic is plastic I mean it is pretty strong especially how thick this is but I would have something in between say every 20 drives or something anyway that's tight and now to show you the spacings for the fans so before we do that, let's insert the square, what's it called, uh, nuts. So we see we've got one here, 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 here. And you don't need, you don't actually need that many per each one. I'm just going to show you that you can have two different spacings. You can have a fan every four or five drives. Uh oh, am I missing a nut? One second, I've got a spare nut right here. So, 
and you can also change the orientation if you want to, uh, to blow the air or, the, or suck the air basically you could have one no actually you can't have one on the other side I haven't designed it like that because obviously you want the connectors to connect so you're even pushing air or pulling air it's up to you okay so the way I have uh, made it so you have uh, these 18 millimeter countersunk M3 hex screws you insert it from one side and then you're going to use an M3 allen key like that so we have it like that again you won't need these bushings I'm just showing you since I haven't reprinted these for the latest designs so it goes like that and into one of the holes so I'm doing every five drive every five drives spacing so let me just show you from the side and that obviously goes into the M3 nut like that and repeat it on the other side you just move it slightly to the side Here we go, you would have a, this, you have a fan every five drives. So you see it's connected both to the very first and the fifth drive. And I'm just gonna change it to the different orientation. So if you had it every four drives, so instead of here, it's gonna be here. So you could have it every four, four, four basically. So let's unscrew that. Chi, no, my toy. So instead of just fixating it to these, I'm just going to fixate it to these. Oh, well, that's why. Because I, have, I, I needed to need my washers now into this one. Change it in the wrong place. But just for example purposes. To get them out, it's a bit tricky if, uh, if you got it blocked by the hard drive. Well, here we go, I did it. So I don't think I actually have it, had this, uh, this one inserted yet. Oh, and I forgot the bushing. But as I mentioned before, you won't need bushings because the files have been updated. No, it's not for eating. Gee, no. Don't eat my computer parts. No. because I'm gonna I want to tighten it in the middle position because at the moment it will look pretty random if I tighten it like that so have a look at it see fixate it to that and obviously you don't want to over tighten it there's no need this is just uh, this is it's quite tight but I mean you don't want to go crazy tight but lovely so you see these act like little feet as well so it would stand up like that obviously that okay so I'm gonna remove it one more time I'm gonna remove it. oh shit yep don't do that hard drives are very sensitive and I just go do that very clever Tom yeah so I'm gonna take some photos after this because I always do that for my listings and for my and to show off the design I mean I know it's very basic design but I haven't seen a very good one so I designed one. So where were we? It goes in the bottom of the fifth one. 
on the top of the first one. Yeah. Just do a little pilot screw. Then we can tighten them all in proper position. Fully, tight, fully tighten it. Once we know that the thread has caught on. Last one. Right, so now that I know all of them are in the thread, I can just do it from the side and show you guys, even though you've pretty much already seen it. But as they're all in now, not just two of them, might be a bit more presentable. So see, very, very uh, casual tightening, nothing over the top. It's actually a good way to tighten it through this rather than this. You get more torque if you tighten it like that. But if you tighten it like that, it's, the torque is much minimal, much more minimal. So you you know you won't over tighten it unless you again, unless you go crazy, which you have no need to. There we go. Right, and it's ready for use basically. little feet and this is a 12 by 12 by 25 millimeter fan 120 120 by 25 millimeter okay right take care guys thanks for watching